I know that a quick shower with uh, ranging of mouth and nose uh, to uplift a major impurity is sufficient for a wudu. And we do not have to do wudu separately after this and we can pray directly. But if someone touches his private part for washing during this wudu, so does he have to do wudu separately because touching of the private part uh, breaks the wudu? that is uh, included in this wudu. Yeah, and this push. is my question and uh, may Allah reward you and your family Amen. and the brothers in the control room Amen. and uh, may all of you pleasing to him. I mean, same to you, Akhi Salman from India. We welcome your call and all the callers and the viewers. May Allah bless you all. Bismillah. We got to distinguish between two things. Ghusl, ghusl, with the intention of lifting a measure impurity, and ghusl whenever it is mere recommended, like ghusl for Jumu'ah, ghusl for the Eid prayer, ghusl for Ihram, ghusl for Tawaf, ghusl for Inter Mecca, or ghusl for freshening up. The ghusl which is mere recommended, wudu will not be included unless if you make an independent wudu while you are in the bathtub or taking a shower. So wudu will be required to be done in the same order. Wash your hands, rinse your mouth and nose, wash your face, the arms, wipe over your head, wash your feet, right and left. But if you're performing ghusl to left a major impurity after sexual relations, intimate relations, sexual discharge, or with dreams, or a woman after her period. So Bismillah, what are you doing? I'm taking a shower with the intention of performing ghusl to lift the major impurity. So this ghusl, is sufficient for wudu and ghusl together. This is something that I wish all the viewers will comprehend. Fact number two, with regards to touching one's private with the palm, right or left, whether accidentally or on purpose, would that invalidate the wudu? There is a difference of opinion because there are two conflicting evidences. So there is a long discussion and when it comes to wudu, I say to be in the safe side, make another wudu. If you happen to touch your private, you private, not the area around, with your hand, then in this case, you should perform another wudu. In order to come out of the dispute, which is a valid dispute among the scholars, as I said, because of two different narrations. So it is best to make another wudu. Barakallahu feekum.